so I'm a suitable material here to make a ceramic out of. That's not a million mile away, and that's just by lining up the registers on the on the chuck. Right, first thing to do is face this and then turn it down to the maximum diameter. So make sure the tool's on centre height. I've been using the tool a lot of something else, that's why it's so far away. That's not bad there. We'll be able to line it up and we'll take our first cut. Centre height there, slightly high. Turn that tip wrong get a better better edge on it. Decent finish. <coughs> Speed things up, we're trying to get a little bit better. the centric strap and the big down that is going to be 71.25 I'm going to do it in metric just because it's easier on this lathe 71.25 we're at 79 a fair amount to come off it
Road 71. I think I'll leave it at that. And the the recess on the side or the shore on the side is 2.6 mil wide and 2.6 mil deep. I'm going to use a parking tool to put that in. I want to make sure that the Important tool is square to the job. Simply do it by touching that across the face like that. We know it's on centre height. And you touch it off. Right, so it's just touching the corner where the zeros are set. One mil. We could go in for one point three. Great, that's the first few sets done. The one I want to do across here, we can measure that distance as well. Back on the zero point which is now 2.6 right, this width needs to be 11 the tool is 3 or right on the edge of the tool so wind that in 8 mil right that width there should be 11 mil so we need to go down 1.3 or a zero. Slow things down a bit. The width feels good. We just need the depth to go down. But it is a full 2.6, not 1.3. I'm going to play around with different speeds so I can get that to cut a lot better than that. And I've slowed things down a bit. Don't go on there. Put a lot better. Feels quite nice actually. Some rags to take off it. I'll just raise these edges and then we'll clamp this together on there and see what sort of fit we've actually got.
This is the face that it actually runs on. That face and those two cheeks, just keep it in line. Still got a little bit of light surface rust in there. Zero there, and a zero there. That's quarter width, you know, and I'm trying to use a half inch spanner. I'm sure I've got a quarter width somewhere. I gave away all my whip work here. Not thinking all of I'm going to be using it again, but here we are using it. I think it's a little bit tight, which is better than being too slack. Actually not bad. John, you clumsy bastard. Right, that's pretty good. It needs nothing more than a, a polish with some light emery to make that perfect. It's actually a little bit too too good of a fit. I'm sure I don't show up running. Right, once I'd polished this up, that one was too slack, so enough metal, I've made another one, and that's going to be much better, to much tighter fit. I clamp on it there and see what sort of fit that is, but it's definitely feels better. Right, those two bolts are now fully tightened, and that really is a nice fit on there. Got a little bit of end through it that way, which is what you need, and it really is a nice tight fit. By the time that's run for a little while, it'll be just about perfect. We're going to pop this end off now, turn it round, and set up. I think I'll leave that on there and I can use that to grip that 
the mounted offset to machine the, the bottom here and to put the, the bore through with a 0.375 inch offset. I did say I wasn't going to machine any more of these brake drums, but these ones are nowhere near as rotten as the last ones. No one has much rust on them, and I found it by using tin foil I can protect the lathe quite nicely. I'm just mounting between centers, at least mounting between two tapers, the same as I did the last time, and they're all running nice and true. Easy, quick, fast setup. Basically that one cuts, I'm machining in just one cut so it's not too bad at all. again it's time to say thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for clicking the like button and as always a massive thanks for all the well wishes they've been coming in towards my wife deb and me dad thanks very much